Welcome to part number 55 of Gran Turismo 5 A-Spec. This is the Moving Chicane, and today we are going to be doing the Polyphony Digital Cup. So, three races, a bit of an odd requirement because there is no requirement, but it's all just random street cars that you'll find. So everything from a Honda Civic to a Ford GT. So I'm hoping to get the field completely shuffled up here and get some random cars. I might have to reshuffle the field maybe twice, three times or whatever. But the car that I want to use for this event is going to be something completely odd. This thing. The Suzuki GSX R4 concept. It's basically a motorcycle on four wheels. Oh, thank you, Abstract. We'll see how it goes when we get there eventually. Okay, so I only had to shuffle the field twice. So we have a Ford GT in the back being driven by Ricky Taylor. It's pretty cool. And look at the field we have. RX-7s, Impreza's, M3s, some British cars, Japanese cars. There's a Golf behind us, but hey. No. Because this championship is all about um, just using street cars. It's on my face. Cool, I guess. But anyways, um... But yeah, I should mention one thing right now. For those who saw the Laguna Seca 200 stream or video, you guys will know that my... That my wheel's kind of busted for my DFGT, so I'm using a controller for the time being. Although I'm looking into getting it either fixed or buying an adapter for the TGT to make it work on the PS3. Ricky Taylor should be driving an Acura. Now, this is a pretty short event, so what we got to do here is we got to make some positions up really quickly. Yeah, nice. The BMW M3 gets stuck at the freaking hairpin. That 4GT is not even catching up. Oh, there he is. Try to pin him in. Nice street course racing, I know. It's basically formula, a Formula E race in a nutshell. Feels so weird playing with the controller. The thing is that the car has real, you know, it's light, it's low on power, so the acceleration is not quite there. Handling and braking, this car is really good. Oh, what's up, Luis? How you doing, bro? Come on. Give me the push, please. Also, I'm going to buy sports soft tires for this car. The controller's way easier. Um, I, I guess I've been using a wheel for like eight years now with Gran Turismo games to the point where uh, wheels are easier for me now than controllers. Depending if you want to shake or not. Get a, uh... Good question. I don't know what kind of shake. Can I outbreak? Yep. Can we get up to the podium with the Suzuki? Maybe? At least I kind of figured out how to drive the car. I mean, you gotta go down to first gear in order to get actual acceleration out the corner. Can we go to Ventura? Uh, that might be... That might be a change of plans. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do Ventura, man. I'll talk to you later about it. Dude, those freaking... That Impreza and that RX-7 is, like, pulling away. Surprised the Lotus is not even up there, like, in the lead.
But at least you feel better. As long as you're in a good mood, bro. That's all that matters, you know? Boring homework. Oof. Final lap. Ah, I was shot the corner. I think we're okay. Oh, the Lotus is catching up to the Subi. When is Mid-Ohio? Isn't that this weekend? This weekend, got it. What I'm probably going to do too is I'm probably going to go and buy a, a transmission for the car. Yeah, I have. Corvette Racing for the win. Of course, talking to the number one Corvette Racing fan, boy. Alright, fourth place, not bad. We held off one of the Taylor brothers, so let me go ahead and save that replay real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and buy sports soft tires and then I'm gonna go ahead and fix the transmission. We're gonna need to fix the transmission up for this car. The gearing is way too long. Trial Mountain, that is next. Then it's Grand Valley, I believe. So yeah. Oh, it might just be GTD and uh, DPI. You know what? Let's we have money. Let's go with this. Let's go with the cheaper. I mean, I know we have money, but what I'm saying is like 171. Okay, so yeah, that makes a big difference. What I'm saying is basically like we have enough money to spend on you know buying another transmission if we fail with this one. I think we're good at this point. That should be a big help for the second round here. Such a weird championship, but it's so cool at the same time. I mean, we're the odd man out just because, like, we're in a concept car, but, I mean, hey. You have a Golf racing against a 4 GT, for God's sake. I can be different, too. And a classic Camaro in the background, for reasons. All three classes, yeah, because, uh... LMP2 doesn't exist. I don't acknowledge it. Not my IMSA class. Oh, yeah. Maybe, you know what the thing is, too? Maybe the Suzuki is more optimized for a circuit like this, just because, like, longer straights and stuff, so we could really stretch our legs out. Or the fact that the transmission's helping us big time. Oh yeah, man, as long as you feel better, dude, that's all that matters. Holy shit, this RX-7 flies. Oh yeah, this car is a dream to handle. Dream to handle, what the fuck am I saying? This car handles like a dream. What's up, Antonio? How you doing? Detailed interior, but standard. Not quite detailed. Look at that dash. It looks very 2D. I'm hoping the 4 GT can get up here, because that way we can take points away from the RX-7 that won the first race. This car was considered premium. Oh yeah, well, there's no... They got rid of standard and premium in GT6. They just made it... Um, 
Simple or detailed interiors. That's just it. Kind of weird, but you know, it is what it is. I've said this many times before, but I just kind of wish that they had like imported all the convertible, like the convertible top interiors, into GT5. Kind of like the Prowler, you know, it's a standard car, but it still has like a decent looking interior. Like that would have been nice for all the MX5s and the SLK, the Cobra, or the AC427, the Griffith, cars like those. Who's in second? Is it still the RX-7? Looks like it. Looks like the GT's starting to catch up now. That might have been him in third. Unless it's the Impreza and I'm just completely blind. I'm not pulling away by a whole lot, so I want to say the GT is maybe starting to close in a bit. That'll back up that theory. Look, I don't mind if they have standard... I don't give a fuck about interiors, to be honest with you. Like, I wouldn't have minded the standard car thing so much if they had just, like... Touched the cars up a bit, you know? Kind of like GT6, how you have some cars that were standard, but... They had, like, the textures redone. Like, the 3000... Like, the GTOs and... Um... The, you know, the Camaro SS, the Z28 Camaro. Cars like those had the um, exterior, you know, remodeled. If all the cars were just remodeled or something, you know, like the textures were cleaned up and the jagged lines were made straight, I would, you know, I'd be happy with that. And some standard cars don't look that bad. Like, the Suzuki, it doesn't look that bad. I mean, yeah, the muffler looks like, you know, like the, the exhaust pipes on the back. They look like paper mache, but overall the car doesn't look that bad. I mean, the Suzuki Alto Works, that's easily the worst standard car in this game. Because all of the lines are jagged as hell. Or the Supra, because the underbody is just completely jagged. Where's the 4GT at? I really want him to take second place. We gotta get all, you know, we gotta get the whole field shuffled. The evil 5 model in GT5 and 6, taken from 1000. No, they're all imported from GT4, man. No GT2000 models were actually present in GT3 or 4. Don't forget that they, like, redid the graphics and stuff from scratch after GT GT2000. Probably because they figured out, like, how much um, power the PS2 actually had. I'm really surprised we're pulling away, honestly. What, you... Can you link that, please? I'd like to see that video. Dude, GT2000 looks like a Dreamcast game. Honestly, like, I, I can't imagine them using a GT2, you know, GT2000 models in the final version of GT3, dude. It just doesn't seem feasible to me. Over the bump for the final time. Really weird how, like, five laps at Madrid Mini and then it's five laps here at Trial Mountain. Like, not even the same length for the circuits. Much shorter race beforehand. This race is much longer. Maybe it's intentional. It's supposed to be like small, medium, then large track, I guess.
Now, I will be stunned if the GT does not crack a top five. Oh, Spanish GT 2000 gameplay? Got it. I mean, you know I speak the language, so... You know, you know I'd be able to understand it, so... Hey. I mean, I speak it poorly, but, you know, so... I just wanted to do that hop over pump. And there we go. Dry Mountain is done. Okay, the 4GT was in second. How the hell was he so slow, though? Like, we maintained a decent gap between him and ourselves, surprisingly. Well, I want to know what the points are like now. Nice! We're only 10 away from... The Amico in the RX-7. Alright, so, final round. Basically, it's a, it's a free-for-all here. Between myself and the Amico in the RX-7 ahead. 25 points between first and second place. That's the difference in points. Depending on where you finish. But we're separated by 10, so yeah. It's basically an all, you know, whoever wins, wins kind of thing. That golf is catching up, what the hell? Damn it, I gotta get around the FC quickly. Thank you. Alright, man. See you later. Thanks for stopping by, dude. Well, we're up to third. the middle section here we're going to be able to actually do something and we just sliding all over the place does he not want to win the title the so one rotary boy versus one motorcycle on four wheels boy shove it on the inside and there we go got the position I'm really surprised that the GT really hasn't been that much of a contender. I mean, I'm probably speaking way too early, but, you know, it, it hasn't really done much. I mean, we did hold it up a bunch at Madrid, but still. Maybe here at Grand Valley, the GT will be able to actually fight with us because there's that really long straight. Our car is only going to go about maybe 170 at most. Okay, yeah, these guys aren't fucking around. Look, look at the Arc-7. The lack of top speed is really starting to kill us a little bit. At least, hey, at least we tuned up the transmission and shit, you know? Bought a six-speed, close-range close range gear. Jesus Christ, I can't talk today. This feels like a GT6 uh, seasonal. God, why can I not talk today? Good lord. Probably because he's freaking cold today. <laughs> Surprisingly in the springtime, but anyways, um, yeah, I, I didn't really play too much of the GT6 seasonals, except for the attempted first playthrough of GT6, which we will not speak of on this channel, because it was fucking terrible. And yeah, those seasonals were fun, from the little I got to experience at the end of the game's life online.
Hey, what's up, Daniel? How you doing? Is that the golf in third? Or fourth, I mean? Okay, we're starting to pull away from the rest of the guys. 86 degrees Fahrenheit? Fucking hell. I'm doing good. Thank you for asking, man. Just knocking out the PD cup right now. Yep, and those guys are not even putting up a fight. They close the gap just a little bit because I kind of forgot that this car, I mean, has what, 160 horsepower compared to what, 300 with the other guys? 500 and something with the 4 GT? Hey, what's going on, Ramon? How are you? That would have been a game changing moment had I spun out. I think we would have been able to catch back up, but I didn't want to risk it. Doing fine, thank you for asking. And Chris, what's up, dude? How are you? Everyone's coming. The Kappa Cup. The Sonic movie trailer. Oh, fucking hell, dude. Like, uh, just when just when I thought that that franchise couldn't be even worse, dude, they released that trailer, which is just a... I, I, don't, I don't know, man. Don't let Rhino hear this, but it's a hunk of shit, dude. My god. That movie trailer. Fuck me, dude. Oh, this is the GSX-R4 concept from 2001. We won it from winning the Formula GT World Championship in B-Spec. Chris? But yeah, that, oh my god, that live-action Sonic, dude, like, what's the point? Why, why does every company want to do live-actions of, like, their 2D animations or video games or whatever? Like, it, like, fuck, it, it, I just don't, I don't see the appeal. Like, some other movies, like The Jungle Book, like, while they might not be bad... Like, the, the live-action one I'm talking about. I just don't care for it, because I'm just like, I I rather would just watch the original animation. Same thing with, like, you know, if they made a Sonic movie and they made it a 2D movie, then I'd be pretty happy. Oh, the GT's right there. The Lotus! Finally, the Lotus is starting to flex some muscles here, but nope, not enough. A little too late. Now, please be like every other British car and just break down. Watch my load. Um... Yeah, that, that trailer was awful. That movie's gonna be awful. You really enjoyed the trailer? Eh, okay. <laughs> Even the ugly Grand Am prototypes look better than that movie. I did, I'll watch The Room any day of the week, thank you. Oh, uh, so, by the way, hi, Stiggy. Um, so, in the trailer, when, when I heard um, Gangster's Paradise, I stopped. I was like, no, I, I can't do this. I was like, I, fuck. I was like, I can't fucking play this anymore. Oh, hi, Chris. Oh, wait. Wait, you're... Damn it, I should have banned... I should ban Chris, because he's actually not Chris Fearlock. He's actually Chris R., He's here to take Denny's money. Oh, uh, but yeah, dude. When I heard Gangster's Paradise, I, I stopped. I was like, fuck, dude. Like, really?
Well, yeah, but it's not it's not really good, you know, dark humor. It's just there, like, it's not really creative or anything. It took me one second to quit? No, it wasn't a second, it was like... 35 or 40 seconds? But yeah, I mean, it was just completely awful. Alright, Lotus. Come on. I know we're already winning the championship, but still, I want a good cushion for points. We're gonna have to redo the Madrid race anyways. You had a bad feeling yesterday when you saw who was gonna be Dr. Robotnik? I mean, it wasn't it already announced, like, before? I already knew, you know, who was playing Dr. Robotnik, but still, it, it goes back to what I was saying, like, what's the point of making live-action movies of, like, these 2D animations or video games or whatever? Just do a fucking... Like, just do an art animation. Just do something like that, please. I mean, if they could pull it off, just fine, like... Okay, but here's my thing. Okay, so, I guess I'll play Devil's Advocate, too. It's, like... For something like Sonic the Hedgehog, where you have to make a CG Sonic and put him in there, like... I don't really see the point, but then, like... I guess if they made, like, a Metal Gear movie, I know I'm pretty biased because I'm a big fan of the series, but... You could pull it off better because it will be more realistic and stuff, you know what I mean? Whereas fucking Sonic or Mario or whatever, like, you can't really do a good job if you, like... Make them, you know, go from the 2D to the 3D, or... From the 2D world to real life. Like, my biggest issue, too, is, like, the transition. Like, getting them out of the world and trying to make them... And try to make them, you know, like, um... Make them feel real in that world. Like, okay, so I'll give you an example. I know what I said is kind of dumb, but think about... Think about this. That Woody the Woodpecker movie that came out a few years ago. Like, Woody did all this, like, cartoony stuff, and it just didn't feel right. It felt, like, out of place and stupid. And you know what's not stupid? The fact that we won the championship. Hey, see what I did there? Shitty transition. Yay, that's what I'm good for. So, 113,000 credits. We won the championship by 15 points, despite the fact that we lost Madrid, finished fourth, and two wins. Now, the prize core is a complete... Okay, I thought I heard something from the console itself. See, I'm not used to being this close to the console. Anyways, um, the prize car is a completely badass one because we win a Nissan 350Z Gran Turismo 4 edition, which sadly never appeared in GT6. I don't know why. Please be in yellow. Yes, it's in yellow. Awesome. So here it is, our Gran Turismo 4 Limited Edition 350Z. I think this was only released in Europe, if I remember correctly, like, you could only get them in the UK, I want to say. I don't know how many were made, but yeah, it's really badass in like this yellow color. I don't know if it's Sunbury yellow, I don't, I don't, no, no, that's a Mitsubishi color, isn't it? No, that's Dandelion yellow. I don't even know what the hell I'm saying. It is, oh, Sunshine Yellow. Okay, there we go. So those are 350Z, and that is it for this video. Next time on Gran Turismo 5 A-Spec, we go and do the NASCAR Championship, just because I feel like it.